Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. One treatment in fighting COVID-19 that's showing signs of success is the monoclonal antibody. It's done through an infusion process and according to doctors and patients, it's relatively simple. They just put a needle in your arm and you sit there for about 20 minutes and, and then after you're through with the process, then they make you wait for, a, uh, I think, around 45 minutes, make sure there's no side effects, and walked out, to, walked out of the hospital. Medical professionals say it's the only outpatient treatment that has shown signs to reduce hospitalizations and death rates due to COVID-19. Testing remains an important part of the COVID-19 fight. Sanford has seen about 200 people a day at its drive through testing site in Sioux Falls. Testing is also offered at clinics. If someone is ill, they need to be in isolation. And the only way to identify them is to do a test and, and then know. A local doctor says if you have symptoms or if you've had a significant exposure, you should talk to your medical provider about getting tested. Now let's check in with meteorologist Scott Munt with a look at this morning's fall-like weather. Good morning, Scott. All right, good morning, you two. Uh, chilly start to the day for some of us. Eastern Kelloland numbers are in the 30s. That will soon change. We'll go with afternoon highs probably in the 70s. And some of us across western South Dakota, there's a possibility to see 80-degree weather. Temperatures will continue to slowly warm as we do go through this coming weekend. 70s and 80s can be expected, and we are going with dry skies until maybe the first couple of days of October. Brian Carstens will have more details on your forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. The South Dakota Senate has agreed to a special session to consider the impeachment of State Attorney General Jason Roundsburg. Senate President Pro Tem Lee Schoenbeck told Kelland News that 24 senators have agreed to call for a special session. The South Dakota Constitution requires that two-thirds of each chamber of the legislature must agree for a special session to proceed. Lawmakers would then decide whether Roundsburg committed impeachable acts when he hit and killed Joe Beaver near Highmore more than a year ago. The Sioux Falls Police Department recently swore in six new officers, all of which came from other states. The department says the new officers are from Arizona, California, Illinois, Florida, and New Mexico. Each of them already worked in law enforcement, which will help speed up their training. A lot of what we hear is just what draws people to this is our community. Uh, our outstanding community that we have in Sioux Falls, a great state, supports law enforcement, and people are looking here basically because they, they see that uh, throughout the country and see the quality of life that, that we have here in Sioux Falls. Chief Toombs says they are still hiring more people to work within the Sioux Falls Police Department. Pumpkin picking is in full swing as we head into, into fall. But this year's drier conditions is taking a toll on the pumpkins. The owner of the Good Earth Farm near Lennox says their pumpkin patch is small this year due to the lack of moisture early in the season. Those first couple of days were pretty rough. We were out there kind of hand watering things and um, moving hoses around. And um, normally we would plant three to five acres of pumpkins and we planted about a half an acre this year. Kirstein says they're still working on picking pumpkins from the patch and they'll be selling them until they run out. That is a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, well indeed here a forecast good for pumpkin picking as we have Fall weather ahead, uh, 70s today. I think breezy, a little bit breezy in central South Dakota, but the weather map is dry. Tomorrow, we've got a cold front that's on the move, and that's going to usher in a cool down for Friday. But ahead of it, tomorrow's temperature forecast, well into the 80s in central Ketherland. Sioux Falls up to about 75 or so. And then on Friday, we'll cut those highs in the 60s. Now, you notice here, too, there's just a little green here painted in a couple of strips, and that may indicate where some sprinkles may have to be added to the forecast. So I'll get you that much there on Friday. But Saturday, we're already back to a return flow from the southwest. And that is going to yield warmer and above normal temperatures for early next week as we see the return of 70s and 80s, I think very likely.
High today, 75 Mitchell, 75 in Huron, 80 in Rapid City. Not quite as chilly tonight, although we'll have uh, low 40s again in Brookings there, 43. Spencer, Iowa, 42. Tomorrow, highs back in the mid-70s along I-29. And then mid-80s in Chamberlain. Uh, a little decline, though, on Friday. We're back to 67 Sioux Falls. And then marching back up. Here we go, early next week, close to 80 by Monday. I think 80s are fairly likely west. Uh, Aberdeen also on that list here to see some warmer numbers down the road. And for Pierre in central South Dakota, it also looks like a lot of 80 degree weather appearing in that seven day forecast. So keep that in mind here as we look upon that extended forecast, of including Rapid City. More coverage, of course, online at Kettleland.com and have a great day.